welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a get ready with me um, video. So I will be showing you how to get this look. Um, I was initially um, trying to do my eyes a neutral and uh, what's the word? Subtle? But that didn't work out as you probably can tell. Uh, so this is kind of a dramatic look um, with really bright uh, lips um, that I and I use the NYX uh, soft matte lip cream for the lips and I love this um, liquid lipstick it is it smells delicious and it feels so good on the lips it feels that sort of mm, velvety it's just amazing so I do I recommend this uh, to everyone who really likes liquid lipstick, Le what? liquid lipsticks, because this is so good, so good, oh, so good. <laughs> no, but, but yeah, um, if you want to see how I got this look, just keep watching. So I've never done a get ready with me video before, so I'm pretty excited to make one. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm probably doing it wrong, but whatever. I'll, I'm just gonna go into it. I will be starting off with the Pep and Prime Natural Radiance Primer from MAC and this one is so amazing. It is so hydrating and it's just the best primer ever. And for foundation I will be mixing the uh, Chanel Perfection Lumiere foundation with the stroke cream from MAC and I will be applying everything with a beauty blender and I love mixing um, the stroke cream into my foundation because it gives a really nice glow and the stroke cream from MAC is just the best I love it well don't I look nice And I always spray my Fix Plus after I apply my foundation to just make it settle nicely into my skin. Now I will be covering up some of these spots right here that are red with the Bare Minerals Correcting Concealer in color light 2. So now I will be using the MAC Prep and Prime highlighter in the color Light Boost under uh, my eyes to just highlight. It smells weird, it smells like perfume. I haven't used this so much, I got it. Actually a month ago, but I use it like twice because I just like my uh, my uh, Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer better, I guess. And then again, using a beauty blender, I'm tapping everything into my skin. And I will be setting my my under eyes and um, wherever I apply the highlighter with the Bare Minerals Illumin Illuminating Mineral Veil with a 105 brush from Zoeva. And to be completely honest, when I do my makeup off camera, I walk around everywhere in my house. Like I go upstairs 
to just get a look at my makeup in every single, uh, every possible way. Like, I go from room to room to see how my makeup looks in different lighting. And it's so annoying because I leave things behind when I do that and the next day I can't find my makeup. It's just so annoying. But I don't know why I do that. I just walk around while I do my makeup. I will be blending my eyeshadow while I walk around to look at myself in a different lighting. It's just weird. I don't know why I do that. Okay, so now I will be uh, contouring with the Hoola bronzer from Benefit. And I will be using the 101 brush uh, from Zoeva. I love this to um, contour with because it's kind of tapered and it's big. And it kind of, you get a more natural, um, natural result with this brush, I think. Because it's not so uh, chiseled and carved out. See, it's just kind of, it kind of creates a really nice shadow. It looks more natural than if you use a smaller brush. And I will be posting a favorites video later this week, I think. And this is one of them, actually, because I love this bronzer. I actually thought it would be too light for me. But then I saw someone else um, else's a YouTube video who also thought this would be too light for them but then it wasn't so I thought I would give it a try and I am not um, I'm not re regretting buying it because it is amazing hmm so now I think I will be doing my brows but since I have already I already have two tutorials on brows so I won't be showing you in this video sorry but I will link it below if you want to see how I do my brows. Um, and I will actually be doing another one soon because a lot of my techniques have changed and uh, yeah. So, see you soon. So now that I have my brows all done, I will be moving on to my eyes. And first I will be priming them with the Urban Decay Eden eyeshadow primer potion and I have this little sample thingy that I'll be using because I don't have the uh, big one but I will be buying it because I really love this primer. Then I just take a little bit and there that I'm done with my eye makeup. Oh. I'm just using a beauty blender to buff it out. I've never seen anyone use a beauty blender to buff out eyeshadow um, primer, but people should do it because it's really nice. It works great. But I'm just using a fluffy brush to get the edges. There, now I will be doing my eyeshadow and I will be using only the adorable, adorable uh, eyeshadow palette from NYX. And first I'm just using the white color right there to set my um, primer. And then with the same brush, I'm just using the um, really light pink color. I'll be using this as my transition shade. I'm just applying this right over my crease. Now I'll be using the 234 brush from Zoeva. And I'll be I will be using the um, um, brown color right there. Oops. I'm just applying this in my crease. And I'm trying to only use mattes right now because I'm obsessed with matte shades right now. They look so good. Um, 
on my eyes. Well, not only on my eyes, on everyone. Because they are. Really nice. I feel like I'm saying really nice all the time. Really nice. So nice. And then I will be buffing it out. Buffing, no. I will be buffing it out. I will be blending it out with a fluffy brush. I'm taking the darkest brown shade now with the same 234 brush from Zoeva and I'll be applying this in the outer corner and also a bit on my crease. And then again I will be blending it out with a 228 brush from Zoeva. So now I will again take the um, dark brown and I'll be more precise and put it right in my crease over where I applied it again just to darken it up and uh, Now I'm taking the 231 brush from Zoeva and I will be taking the, uh, wait a second, yes, I'll be using this um, beige shade right there and I'll be applying this in my inner corner and also a bit in the middle of my eyelid. I'm also just blending as I go because this one does this doesn't need a whole lot of blending because it's so light there so let's move on to liner and I'm using the Schwing eyeliner from uh, the bomb and this one isn't actually the best eyeliner, but it stays on and it dries matte. Um, but it's really wet though, so it's really hard to work with. And I will be starting off uh, with the wing. Like this. So now the hardest part is over, finally, because this is what I hate. But now it's just kind of filling in and like doing winged eyeliner is like the most frustrating thing ever. Like it's so hard to get them even and uh, Make them look the same on both sides. Now I will be applying some false lashes and I'm gonna use the Femme uh, Fatale. Femme Fatale. Yeah, whatever. Uh, I'll be using these from House of Lashes with the House of Lashes glue. I think I'm gonna use the black one. I'm gonna use the black eyelash glue from House of Lashes. Okay, so now I have my eyelashes on and by the way the House of Lashes uh, eyelashes will actually be available in H&M um, stores in Norway and Sweden so and also this style that I'm wearing right now will also be available so that is pretty great because the House of Lashes 
lashes are fantastic but the glues, glues the glue the eyelash glue is not that good it's kind of sticky and uh, well the dual lash glue is a lot better now I will be finishing off this look and I'm taking the darkest uh, brown color from the same palette that I've been using and I'll be uh, applying this in my lower lash line but only like um, into the middle I'm not gonna touch it uh, touch the uh, front there because that makes my eyes look so small and it just doesn't look good on me but of course if it doesn't look good on you just go ahead and do that I just don't like that It's been a while since I've gone so dark on my eyes. I usually go a lot lighter. And then I'll be taking the lighter brown color also and I'll be applying this a bit underneath to just kind of smoke it out. So I wanted to keep the eyes really neutral and light, but um, that didn't happen. Okay, so now I'm gonna take the uh, long wearing eyeliner from Bare Minerals. Just gonna apply a bit of this in my lower lash line, or I'm gonna tight line a bit, I guess, that's how. But I'm also just doing uh, this where I apply the eyeshadow. Not going all the way into my tear duct. So, what's left now? Oh, I haven't contoured my nose. What? Um, okay. I'll be using the uh, Hula Bronzer. Let's uh, start doing the highlighting part. Mm. Okay, I'll be using the What's Up um, highlighter from Benefit and this um, Mary Luminizer um, over it. So first I'm just gonna um, put some on my finger and apply this on the tops of my cheeks. And then I will be applying this over where I apply the um, liquid highlighter. What is it? Liquid stick highlighter. And this will just make it so my highlighter pops. Okay, so for my lips, I'm gonna do a really bright pink lip. And first, I will be um, lining my lips with this Maybelline uh, Color Sensational Lip Liner in the color Intense Pink. Then I'm gonna use the um, Soft Matte Lip Cream by NYX and it's the color San Paolo. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. It smells like dessert. Mm. So that's actually it. I had some trouble uh, during this tutorial because 
my liner would not go on smoothly and this like um, when I finished my first eye it got empty and there wouldn't come out any more product so I kind of had to shake it and uh, apply it several times and then my lips also looked so they looked horrible so I had to fix it and I had to go over with concealer but I think the overall result turned out great but I had some issues during the tutorial um, but yeah um, so I really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and that um, you liked it so yeah bye guys <laughs>